so hi everybody um, welcome back to another video it's uh, been a while since I've actually posted one um, just not really had the time to post them really I've um, the gameplay I've been doing I think because of the weather I've not been playing much games but uh, I've been playing games but uh, not really enough to warrant me making videos you know it's been 20 minutes here 30 minutes there you know it's just a uh, just quick game blast and all that you know <laughs> nothing to warrant making a video really so it's um but it's loads loads of games i've, I've been wanting to play and uh record but been bit, but yeah from uh hopefully soon i'm gonna get some good uh some good uh footage up so yeah but today today what we've got is uh well it's the new playstation the all new playstation plus you know premium extra essentials comes to the uk and europe so yeah we're gonna check it out really so Currently, I've got uh, Essential because uh, I was a PlayStation Plus subscriber. That's all it automatically been um, transferred over to the Essential new tier, which is, uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at it. Um, I'm think, really thinking about upgrading to one of the extras or premium, but uh, I'm going to check them both out now, see what uh, if they're going to entice me in. But... Uh, well, let's have a look. I mean, I'm already a. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look at the. Um, let's have a look at the upgrade first. How much is it going to cost me? So you can see, I've got 811 days remaining. So I've got about two and a half years. I, I had two and a half years. Well, just under really, about two years and a hundred days left. So it works out to 811 days left of. Uh, my PlayStation Plus, which is now essential. So, if I wanted to upgrade all of that, so if I wanted 811 days of premium, it would cost me £110. So, that's really two years for the upgrade. That's two years and 100 days, really, before I have the next upgrade. And that will give me my premium service. But if I just want the extra, you know, if I just want this service, uh, upgrade my uh, current uh, subscription of the 811 days to the extra service, then it's going to cost me 75 quid, which uh, for two years and 100 days, it's about under under 30 quid a year, isn't it? I mean, obviously, it's uh, this is the upgrade. I've actually, I've actually buy essential off of that first, but uh, I think when I bought the essential. I only, only got like well the PlayStation Plus. I always used to wait for the deals and things like that. So I think I might only pay about thirty pound a year for the uh, twelve months PlayStation Plus. So if I upgrade to, which works out at thirty thirty pound a year, that's going to be like sixty pound a year for extra service. So we're going to look, but let's have a look at premium first. See what it's going to offer me. Is it going to entice me to gather that top tier service? So let's have a look. What we've got down here. So this is what we get. The all new PlayStation Plus benefits. The premium. You're going to get game trials. You're going to get your classic catalogue. And cloud streaming. I'm not, not, not really a fan of that. I know all your currently your PS3 games are going to be all cloud streaming. So... I don't think I'm going to be, use that because I don't really use it on my Game Pass. In fact, the only way, uh, the only time I use my streaming server on the Game Pass Ultimate is when I uh, use it to redeem points from playing games and things like that. You know, you redeem a points like 75 reward points for playing a game on. <laughs> so sometimes I do that instead of downloading it. And uh, yeah, so that's what I do with that. So. And the extra, which you get on the premium, and uh, so with the extra one, you're going to get just well, your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 games. But yeah, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at the classics. Is it the same as the American one or Japanese? Because I know the American one came out a few weeks ago, isn't it? Um, I've had a look at a few videos on YouTube, um, and uh, I think the Asian one, the Japanese version, came out a couple of months ago, so they've had. They've been up and running a few months now, so oh, a couple of months. 
don't know if he had any uh, extra added to the service or not in, in that time. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Just to swallow a tea. Just a... Right. So let's have a look then, shall we? PlayStation... So what we're going to do... The Classics Catalogue. Let's have a look at this. So this is your... Uh, so we're going to view the games. What what games do we get in the... Uh, now that's got your PlayStation 3 in as well. We don't want to look at that. So we want to have a look at these. So view all. This is your... Um, this is minus your PlayStation 3, which is uh, obviously you get that on streaming. So this is part of your classics. This is going to be all your PS2 and PSP PlayStation one. So what do we get? Jack and Daxter. Jack 2. I do actually like them games. I do actually, actually I like that better than the uh, Ratchet and Clank series when it was uh, in the PlayStation 2. I'm uh, surprised they ain't actually revive that is in like, like they have the uh, Ratchet and Clank because uh, I actually thought that was more popular than uh, uh, Ratchet and Clank. But, yeah, Star Wars Bound Hunter. I've already purchased that on the PlayStation Plus. So I've already got that in my library. Dark Cloud. Lots of RPGs. Lots of RPGs. Ape Escape. That that was that PlayStation One. Have a look. It might have been PlayStation. Yeah, no. really released on PS Two. PS Two. Here we go. What am I thinking of? Uh, PlayStation One. But anyway, yeah, got uh, Star Wars Race, Races Revenge, and Jet Starfighter. Already have them in my library. Red Faction. I did actually like that game on uh, PlayStation, like the destruction. Whether I'll play again on the, uh, if I subscribe to the service, I don't know. I don't think I would, <laughs> unless it was really enhanced. But, uh, you've got the later ones, didn't you? Uh, Gorilla and uh, is it remastered anyway? It's been remastered, isn't it? Red Faction. Is it Red Faction one or two? I can't remember. Tennis, they're quite f fun games. Um, To be honest, it's not really that what's uh, driving me in. Got your Red Faction 2. Worms. Are you really going to go back and play the director's cut of the original one? You know, when there's all them, you know, the uh, the been remastered. I don't know, you know, unless you unless you got a lot of nostalgia and uh, that, and played it a lot as a youngster, you, you know, you might go back just to uh, for that nostalgic memory sort of thing. But uh, apart from that, you're not really going to play it, are you? See, to be honest, I wasn't really a PlayStation One big player. I mean, there was some games on there I loved, like uh, Ridge Racer and you know your Tekkens, but they're not the sort of games I'm going to go back to. I mean, I was more of a, like a Saturn fan, <laughs> really, at the time. You know, I was more into the arcades, the 2D shooters and, you know, stuff like that, really. But, uh, you know, there was a lot of games on there I did like, though. You know, like your your 3D, you know, your Ridge Races, your Gran Turismos. Nothing really. You know, I'd probably play Jack and Daxter again, you know, like that. Um... There's nothing out that where I'm gonna go download it and play it. You know, maybe you know it's early days, isn't it? So it's, that's your play. That's your that's your PlayStation Classics, PSP, PlayStation, PlayStation Two. You know, out of a massive library, you've only got about twenty or thirty games on there. But your PS3, get to it and see all. So here's your PS3, but these are all, what I understand, these are all just streamed. So if these are all downloads, you could download them to your system and, you know, you might, you know, some of them remastered, you know, like, well, I say remastered, using the uh, 
you know, upscaled and stuff like that. Would actually replay a lot of them. You know, it's like Darkstalker's Resurrection. Nice beat em up. But that, it's coming out again, isn't it, with the uh, Capcom collection. There's a collection coming out with uh, all the beat em ups. That's going to have the. That's going to have all them on. Cup of tea. Gasping. Devil May Cry. Have I already downloaded that? I'm pretty sure I've got that on my uh, PS4. I don't know. Was it released again for the PS4? Might have been, I don't know. Pretty sure I've got my PS4. Anyway. What else we got? This guy, uh, that's a kind of a RPG turn based one, isn't it? Lots of Dynasty Warriors. I used to love that back in the PlayStation 2 days. In fact, I've got some of the uh, PlayStation 3 still on disc on my retail. Good collection of that. Strike Force. Everybody's goals. Fear. Thing is, it you know, if it, like I said, there's a lot of got a lot of PS3 stuff on here. But if, it, like I said, if it was able to download it, which I think they'll get around it and do that eventually. But it's got it's coming, isn't it? It's uh, streaming. I don't think I'll stream any games actually. Even if it was something I wanted to actually play. Motor Storm, that's a classic. Love that game back in the day. Don't think it's even got achievements. Well, when it first came out, I don't think that's one of the games where it didn't even have achievements. Uh, platin uh, trophies, sorry. <laughs> God, I've got uh, achievements on my head. Xbox, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden 3. They've just come out on Game Pass, haven't they? I'm pretty sure they're remastered. So yeah, if you if you've got both services, is uh, but you've got a good selection, you know. Ride and Force. See, that's that's one I'd I'd play. R Type Dimensions. Ratchet and Clank. I'll play them. Code Veronica. Yeah, play that again. Replay that. I won't stream. I ain't gonna play it and stream it. I won't bother. One thing I do like, I do use streaming for on the. I do say on the uh, Xbox, my Game Pass is. If there's a game come on the um, Game Pass to download, I'll probably try and you can. It's on the cloud. I will try it, and I'm but you know, unsure. I will try it out on um, cloud first to see. Whether it's worth deleting any stuff, you know, clearing a bit of space on my hard drive to download it. So that is a that is a handy thing of the uh, streaming and streaming service where you can just try before you actually either buy it or you know to download to your hard drive or whatnot. King of the Fighters, you know, I'd play that right on disc though. <laughs> Yeah, I've got that one on disc already. Saying that, if it, you know, if it was a, if you was able to download these, I'd be able to get rid of a lot of retail stuff. Yeah, you know, I do play Zen Pinball as well. I do like that game. But yeah, actually, play PlayStation Free catalog. Obviously, at the moment, at the moment, it's just streaming only, isn't it? So if you get around that little, uh, little obstacle. It'd have been a lot more of improvement, wasn't it? What else we got with the, uh, you know, PlayStation Premium one? So we've got, obviously, you've got cloud streaming, classic catalog we should have looked at, and uh, game trials. Hang on, let's have a look at cloud streaming. Can you actually stream PlayStation Four games as well? Cloud yeah, you can actually. So, 
Yeah, there's a. So let's have a look at game trials. What's the library of here? I don't really trial many games. It's very rare that I'd uh, download a, a, a game to my system just to uh, try it out. But let's have a look what what game trials we've got on show at the moment for this premium service. So Horizon Forbidden West. I mean, it's a shame that isn't on the actual, you know, to download bin. You know, like a day one per, you know, day one release on the, uh, you know, because it's Sony's own game, really, isn't it? You know, it's pretty sure it will go up very soon, actually. So, so you can play five hours full game trial. Not too bad, I suppose. You know, you could get quite a few hours out of that play. Still five hours. That's just two hours, that is. You're not going to get much gameplay out of two hours, are you? You know, you start it all up and... Uh, a full game trial of that, that's not too bad. Five hours, that's not too bad. But if I was going to... Is that it? Oh, God. I mean, I'm sure this is going to grow quite substantially. You know the game trials but out of that there's probably I'll probably try cyberpunk even um even um you know there's a trial on the uh, xbox i think and i didn't fully <laughs> do all that because we're gonna buy it but uh i'd try horizon forbidden west if i, if I was gonna trial any out but i think that's I mean, if it didn't, it didn't already have that because uh, I, I have actually played that. Um, I've about completed it on the uh, Xbox, but, uh, so I'd probably tried that as well. Uncharted. I mean, you're going to get a two-hour full game trial. Is that of each game? Oh, hang on, you got what you got here? Thief's End and Lost Legacy. So, you got two hours. Yeah, I've played that already, you see, so I probably won't try that because I know what it's all about. I know what it's. No, you don't get much. It's not really uh, enticing me into the premium package. So, let's have a look. Where are we? Where we go back? So that's actually premium. You know, maybe uh, later on, you know, with more classics. Um, I'm not really too bothered about game trials, streaming. You know, classics collections. If they uh, if improve that, you know, you can start downloading PlayStation free games. It might entice me in. Um, the catalog. So, so this is the uh, extra. So this is what games we're going to get with the extra. Then, see, this is what I'm I'm thinking upgrading to at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm going to leave a premium. I, there's nothing really at the moment. You know, I might look at it in a few months' time, see if there's anything you know were added. See if the library's got a lot lot bigger. But uh, at the moment, it, I won't really use it. You know, for the classics, I won't really play any of them classic games. Um, won't do any trials. I won't do any demos, really. Not not them ones. Um, but really, yeah, really, I'm, I'm just looking for PlayStation 5 games, really. So I'm hoping to, you know, you know, you've got a PlayStation 5. You're going to want to play PlayStation 5, really, aren't you? So, yeah, it's looking like if I'm going to upgrade, it's going to be to this uh, this service here. So... Plus it's only going to be, you know, 70 some pound. And I'm getting over two years service. So let's see how I'm going to play, you know, Miles Morales. I haven't played that because I've only had my PS5 for like about a month. <laughs> so yeah, that will be uh, the Demon Souls. I'll give that a playthrough. I haven't played Ghost of Tsushima. I know what you're saying. You haven't played Ghost of Tsushima yet. No, I haven't. 
just had lots and lots of stuff to play. I just never got around to playing it. Returnal. Good things here about that. Spider-Man. I thought that was uh, PS5 enhanced as well. Is it? Let's have a look. Does it give any detail of it? Play this on the PS5. Is it just... It is enhanced, isn't it? Because I uh, played it on... I know I played it on a PS4, but uh, I did hear if you've got a PS5 and your PS4 disc, it's just going to play the PS4 version. I don't know. If I thought it, that uh, that had a PS5 version as well, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain in the, in the uh, comments. Guardians of the Galaxy. The thing is, I've got that on Xbox and uh, Series X, and I won't really. I haven't really played it at the moment. Library's just too massive. Might play that. Is it enhanced that? Did you get like extra, you know, frame rates and that on PS5? I don't know. It doesn't see. It doesn't really give details if you're playing it. Is it on PS5? I know when you're looking on the Xbox and you look, you doubt you're going to download an Xbox One game. It says if it's, uh, it's been enhanced. Look. Although this game I'll play, some features are maybe absent. See that being handy thing. If you put some like, if you play it on a play, it, it is runs at a higher frame rate or you know 4k you know it runs 4k on the xbox yeah if it had that sort of information you need to, i think they need to put that you know there's a lot of people with ps5 is going to be looking at these ps4 games and uh you've got two different versions there obviously that one's the uh the recent one what came out because that got enhanced didn't it so yeah i'll probably actually play that actually Days gone. I've already purchased that because it came with. It actually, come with the uh, PlayStation uh, collection, didn't it? Got PS5 version there. I'm sure some of these PS4 games are going to be run a lot better on. You know, PS5. You know, the runner to higher frame rate, and maybe some have been. Is that Doom? It just says PS4. PS4. Is that just premium? Oh, yeah, because that's going to be uh, like a PS4. They've got to be premium for that one. Uh, have any of you guys been enticed by uh, upgrading at the moment? Or are you gonna, any of you going to just wait a bit, wait it out a bit, see if it improves or, you know, a lot more stuff? But it's a lot of stuff for the extra. You know, you're getting a lot of games. There's a lot of stuff to get on with so it's, it's worth the money would be nice if you put some more actual ps5 day one stuff up here i don't know maybe they're going to save that for the premium if you're a premium subscriber i mean I, i'm hoping they don't do that i'm hoping the uh you know they ain't going to lock it behind the premium some ps5 stuff you know that would show they got Neo 2. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot to get on with. What's that? You've still got to buy that. All right, why is that up there? 
the project cars too you still got to purchase that I, th I thought all the games here were part of the uh I don't know you know the extra or premium service that's still got a price by it so oh, a bit perplexed about that you still got to buy some games <laughs> you just get a bit of a discount yeah but there's there's a good lot of games to play get on with I know if you've got this and um, you know you're a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, you, you know you're not gonna you're not gonna have to really buy many games, <laughs> are you? So you're gonna save it's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. You know you'll probably just buy the essential games what you want day one, which isn't gonna be on any of the services. stuff you're actually unsure about or you, you know you, you can wait because you know you've got a ton to ton of stuff to play and get on with yes. see there is a lot of stuff i will play on this and absolutely a ton of stuff but yeah i think um i think i am going to upgrade to this extra service i mean it definitely worth it especially i am getting a bit of a discount anyway because i'm already got two years yeah, that's one i'm going to try out our final but it's not the full game is it i mean you still got to uh buy the extra levels have you this is one i was actually going to purchase i was just actually waiting for it to go on sale might actually play that because there'd be also a lot of because i've got a lot of retail discs as well which i could just sell really because they're just going to sit on my shelf <laughs> going to download them to my hard drive and uh see a lot of these i ain't even actually got to uh i'm assuming i haven't even got to actually download them to the uh, ps5 system i could just because the ps4 games and if they're not enhanced I'll just use them on my PS4 Pro. You know, save space on my. Uh... It's quite a lot, isn't there? Quite a lot of stuff. Sometimes you might say you've got too many games. <laughs> you don't actually get into a game, if you know what I mean. That, that's happened to me a lot of times in the past. You've got too much stuff to play. You just don't get into a game that you're actually enjoying because you're thinking, oh, I'll go and try that, that game I've just purchased there. <laughs> Before you know it, it's about a month or two past and you think oh shit i've still got to play that game i started a month ago then you've like sort of lost track of what you were doing on it it's happened to me tons of times so that's that's the actual library what you're going to get if so that's hundreds of games there is so you still get your playstation plus collection which uh i've just got this month in library purchased in library so you've got all them yeah i'm not interested in the premium at the moment that might be something a bit further down the line when i might upgrade from this upgrade for the extra so yeah i think i'm going to upgrade to the extra plan what's it going to cost me so yeah 
So if I wanted to upgrade to the premium, that's going to cost me 110 again. Obviously, when that's run out, it's going to cost me £99 a month. But obviously, there's going to be discounts or stuff on that as well. So, like with PlayStation Plus, you could always get it. They always had an offer or a sale on, didn't they? And you could always get it you know, 12 months for cheaper. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the uh, service I'm going to go for. That's 75 for 811 days. I haven't got, ain't, ain't even got to touch it in it. You know, upgrade it for another two years. And I think I'll get, there's going to be some sales then. Before then, I could probably pick, pick a, another year up for, what is it? Retail is 84 quid, 83.99. I reckon you can pick up another year for top it, keep it maxed out. I, I, you know, keep it up to three years, you know, always maxed out. If I don't upgrade to uh, the premium, I might do that. I'm going to keep my eye on that, see how it improves. Hopefully, it should do. It should do. Yeah, see how them PS3 games, see what uh, extra bits go on. But yeah, uh, let us know your thoughts on it. Are you going to, uh, what What are you currently subscribed to? Have you gone for the premium? You know, maybe these classic games enticed you in. Maybe you've got a lot of nostalgia for them. There's not much on there what uh, did it for me. But uh, that's just what it is at the moment. Um, not really into the uh, streaming the PS3 games. You know, it might have been... Uh, I might have been enticed in a little bit more if you could download them PS3 games. But we've all known that for the last few months, haven't we? So, but I think they're going to work on that. Um, I think uh, they will get around it and they will actually end up, when, when it happens, I don't know. I think they will actually be able to, uh, there'll be an update or some point in the future where you can actually play, download the PlayStation 3 games to your actual hard drive and play them off that. So that'd be a bonus. So yeah, um, or like me, are you going to uh, use what you got on upgrade to, or maybe you're already on the extra, you know, you're playing the games already, how you find it, are you finding it good value, I mean it looks good value, tons and tons of stuff to play, um, you're not going to get bored of uh, games, I don't know, you know, there's a lot of money you can save as well, just by looking at all the stuff, so yeah. Um, I mean, just by looking at it, I was going to buy that return. So <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to go on sale. Me being a tight bugger I am, I like to see when I'm on sales. And, uh, yeah, so. But yeah, um, that's what I'm current. That's my current plan. Two years of that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the uh, vi um, comments below. Uh, what you're going to upgrade to? I'm just going to stick to the essential plan. If you're, even if you're a PlayStation, you know, PlayStation Plus subscriber, or now Essential subscriber, if you're not, uh, are you gonna, gonna get straight to Essential Extra Premium? You know, let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts on it. Uh, maybe you're just gonna wait it out and uh, leave it as is and just buy your games. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, um, yeah, it's um, leave us a like, subscribe. Uh, future comments so you know leave comments um you know for future com content uh look forward to uh getting some more videos of uh, gameplay soon so yeah so anyway that's that really <laughs> that's my thoughts on it you've seen that so anyway have a good day all and i'll see you later i guess